Hello and welcome back techies. I am your instructor Sambhav. This is the second part of SAS character function. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the updates on my latest video. In this video, we are going to study sub str which is commonly called as substring, another very interesting function in SAS character function list. So these are the list of functions which I have already shared in the previous video. So if you have not seen my previous video, you can go ahead and look back and see what we have discussed in the previous video. So we have already seen upcase, lowcase and propcase. So in this session, we are going to focus on sub str, which is nothing but your substring function. A very simple definition of substring function is that it is used to extract characters from a given string value based on position and number of characters. So if you are given a word, a character value, so if you want to extract some specific characters, we can do that using the substring function and we will have to specify the position and the number of characters. So if you look at the syntax here, we have a variable name which is going to store the result of this function and then the next one is your substring function itself which is sub str and then this function has got three arguments one is source second one is position and the third one is n so source is nothing but the character value or the character string character variable whichever you want to specify from where you want to extract the characters or alphabets second one is position this position should be a positive integer value and it is used to reference the starting position from where you want to read the where from where you want to start reading the characters from the source let's say for example you have been given some word but you want to extract some alphabets so you will have to give the specific the starting position of it third one is n which must also be a positive integer value which will tell how many characters you want to extract from the starting position which you have specified earlier. I'll repeat, n indicates the number of characters which you want to extract referencing the starting position of the character value. Let's look at an example. So I have taken a word here called as techie ventures. Techie ventures. And this numbers indicates the position of each of the alphabets. So techie, t, e is 2, c is 3 and so on and so forth. So there are 14 alphabets what we have. So let us try to extract techie. So if I have to extract techie, I will have to give the source which is your techie ventures. I can store this value as a character variable or I can pass this characters, uh, I can pass this entire character into my uh, syntax. Then the second thing is that I will have to extract, I'll have to specify the starting position. So let's say for example if I'm interested in extracting techie, so I will specify the position 1. And if I have to, and then the next argument which we have to specify is n which indico indicates the number of characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will have to specify 5 characters. Let us write a code to do this. So let's say data sub str1 so let's say name is equal to techie ventures t e c h i e v e n t u r e s techie ventures now since this is a character value so we will have to specify in quotes let me do that and let's say for example result one is equal to so now i will have to use the function sub str right and then I will specify the source. My source is character variable, which is named here. And I will separate it with comma. The second argument is the starting position. So I'll give one. And again, I'll separate, I'll use comma as a separator to specify the number of characters. So I'm going to specify five, right? Let's say in result two, I want to extract even. I want to extract even. So see even E starts from the sixth position and how many characters we are going to extract? One, two, three, four. So this will become name comma six comma four. 
let's do that result sub str name comma six comma four right now let's say r3 let's do one more extraction sub str now in this assume that i want to extract uh, let's say ventures v e n t u r e s so ventures v is in the seventh position so i will give here name comma seven now i will have to count the number of characters which i want to extract so one two three four five six seven eight so i will specify here comma eight now guys in this situation if you want to extract everything from the seventh position that is till the last it is not mandatory for us to specify the number of characters you can just leave it like this so what sas will do is sas will understand that seventh is a starting position and from there i have to extract all of the or rest of the words rest of the alphabet sorry let's execute this program and print it to see the result rock print data is equal to sub str underscore one run let's execute this code to see the result and you see we have extracted is successfully so techie ventures so first we have started extracting from the first position and we have extracted five alphabets five alphabets second from the sixth position and four alphabets so that is your even and ventures correct now let us look at another scenario let's say i am creating another data set let me copy this part uh, let me copy this code itself to save some time and let it be data set 2 let it be data set 2 I don't need these two things so I remove this now in this example what I'm going to do is assume that I'm specifying a starting position to be as 20 the starting position to be as 20 now you see we have only 14 characters or 14 alphabets so the last position is supposed to be 14 but I am specifying 20 and assume that I want to extract two characters from this in this scenario what will happen now you see I am specifying the position which is out of the range basically it is out of the range so now if I execute this code if I execute this code SAS will throw me an error see uh, this is not a result guys if you look at log sas has actually thrown an error message now in this example the variable length is actually 14 right in this example the variable length is actually 14 and the variable <coughs> and the substring function is supposed to read two characters from the 20th position total length is 14 but according to my code my sas should read two characters from the 20th position since reading two characters from the 20th position will attempt to start the pointer past the length of the variable hence the substring function will not work properly in this case i hope i am clear now let us take another scenario let me copy this portion let it be substring 3 let let the data set be 3 now guys in this case i am specifying let's say my starting position to be let's say 12 let's say i want to extract r e s i want to start ext extracting from r i want to start extracting from r which is nothing but in the 12th position so let me specify 12th now after this 12th position there are maximum characters which we can extract is 3 r e s now assume that in spite of 3 I am specifying 5 assume I am specifying 5 now if I execute this what will happen well though you might get the result here res but don't be confused please let's look into the log message again it gives me an error again it is giving me an error so in this example the variable length is again 14 and the substring function has to extract five characters starting from the 12th position 
Since reading five characters from the 12th position will overpass the length of the variable name, hence substring function will not work properly in this situation as well. I'll repeat it. Since reading five characters from the 12th position will overpass the length of the variable, so, so the substring function will not work properly. Now let us take one more scenario. Let's take one more scenario. Now let me change the data set to be a substring 4. Now assume that I am specifying a negative number. What if I specify a negative number? Let's say I'm giving minus 12. Assume that minus 12, but I'm giving correct number of characters 3. What will happen in this situation? In many programming languages, let's say for example in Python or in R, we have seen that minus means reading from right to left. Positive numbers reading from left to right and negative numbers reading from right to left. Well, does this also work in SAS? No guys, this does not work in SAS. If I execute this code, you will see there is a error. See here, error. Invalid second argument to function substring. See, there's an error message created, generated over here. So it means that substring function does not work for negative numbers. Substring function does not work for negative numbers. That will be all for now, guys. Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day ahead. And if you want the data sets and codes, please leave your email ID in the comment section. I will mail it to you. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, let me know the list of topics which you would like to study in the coming video. Thank you so much for your time and you have a wonderful day ahead.